All right, what's up, Modern Bay Tribe? Uh, Travis here uh, with Modern Bay Company. As you guys know, we do Subaru conversions into vintage Volkswagen Bay window buses. It's kind of our thing. Um, and today's video, uh, today's wrap is all about um, upgrading the starter um, to work well uh, with the uh, Subaru Power. So uh, we use these starters. They are from, they're meant for a Volkswagen, another Volkswagen, uh, a TDI actually. Uh, starter number SR0408X. You should be able to see, I think, in this camera here. Um, so this guy puts out over two kilowatts, uh, a lot of torque, uh, which is great for a you know higher compression engine um, and to turn it over uh, whenever you need to. And for elastic, for longevity, there we go, uh, lasting longer, evity. Um, and another cool thing about this starter is that uh, as opposed to the stock VW starter, not only is it more powerful, but it doesn't have to seat in this really annoying bushing in here to work properly. Um, it, it doesn't use that uh, setup at all. So in order to use this, you have to have one of these guys. Um, this is like a modern day special uh, job here. So it's basically a spacer that allows this starter to uh, have the correct throw. So when it plunges forward, it has the correct throw um, and engages uh, the teeth to the correct, uh, to the appropriate uh, degree. Uh, it's about two thirds of the way um, on the, the cog here, little gear here. Um, and then it has to have the correct depth engagement. It's actually like quite complicated to, to nail this, um, but where the teeth engage with the flywheel right in here. Um, if I remember right, it's either 35 or 40 thousandths the depth that you measure of uh, that the teeth actually meet each other. Um, so this has taken a long time to, I'm just gonna be totally honest. Uh, this was version one that we actually had uh, CNC cut and made, tested it, it didn't work. Um, <laughs> just didn't work. Um, it, it did not have the correct uh, bore, the correct throw. Um, there were things about it that were not great, but we were getting somewhere, right? So. Uh, we have this cutout, so other 002 adapters do not have this cutout. Um, therefore, you have to like shave them down. It's really annoying. Um, but this is built specifically for the 002 VW transmission, which is why it's thicker and has this little cutout down here. Um, another problem that we were trying to solve using this starter was that um, we wanted to clock this starter down as low as we could and still make it work properly because the, the underbody right here um, is actually quite low. So if this is like right by the underbody and then you've got fuel lines right here, it starts to get cramped. And honestly, I don't like a fuel line coming right by my, my hot lead on the starter. Just don't in case there's ever a spark or anything like that. So, so I wanted to clock this as far low as possible also to make it kind of perfect uh, as we can for the Subaru conversion. Uh, so yeah, we started with this one, didn't work. Um, next up was this one. It actually worked, but we still wanted to clock it a little bit more, um, get a little more clearance there. And so this was version two. Uh, then to save some costs, we did a 3D print um, of that guy um, and tested our 3D print. We used 100% infill on this. Um, and this is strong enough you know, to actually test the starter. Um, honestly, this could be strong enough to actually run it, but we wanted to use high quality uh, CNC to aluminum. I believe this is 6061 aluminum, but it's the good stuff, the stuff you wanna use. So um, that's kind of the design process. That was for the 002 transmission right here. We also have one for the 091 transmission, which you'll see a little bit different, um, but both of these guys are dialed. And so I'm really, really excited um, to show them to you, uh, to start you know using them and for you guys to start uh, using them on your buses as well. Um, not only will you, will your, blah, 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 blah. not only will you, will, but gosh, I'm gonna try again. <laughs> not only will your starter, starter, starter last longer, um, but it's gonna be turning that motor over uh, with more power. So um, this, oh, <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Uh, this is our first, uh, this is uh, the first one of our production run uh, of these guys. So we've got a number of these sitting on the shelf for our in-house builds, uh, but also uh, for you guys, should you need one for your build. So I'm gonna show you how to do the install on this um, so that when we start selling these and sending them out, um, I can just kick people to this video and show them exactly how to install this guy. So without further ado, uh, first up, I will show you, uh, this is the hardware placement. So we've got 
this guy right here, which goes bottom left, goes into here. Uh, we have this guy, which is the shorter of the two bolts uh, right here, which goes, uh, this is, these are the starter bolts. These go into the starter and this is the longer one. And then we've got this little kind of um, fancy, it's called a JIS nut. So it's got a, a smaller head, uh, but it's still the correct size and it fits right in there. So we can use uh, a standard socket and it still fits in there for you to tighten it. Uh, that was another problem that we were trying to address with this whole thing to make it super easy to install and not annoying because on uh, previous ones I was using, I'd have to grind some off the starter body to make it work. That's just not fun for anyone. I'd have to grind stuff off this to make it work. Also not fun for anyone. Wanted to make it as turnkey as we could. So, so yeah, let's just jump in, install this guy. So step one, uh, we use the Kennedy Engineering Products adapter. Part of that adapter has the correct length stud coming out. So that is there and that is great. Uh, so we're just gonna hang it right on that stud. Uh, sometimes, depending on your bell housing, um, this uh, doesn't just kind of slide in real easy. This one's nice and easy. Sometimes you got to take a rubber hammer uh, and just kind of seat it um, and make sure it is flush and square and all that stuff. Uh, it's looking good. So once it is, I'm going to get these two guys and start threading this in a couple threads by hand. Um, and then I'm going to get this guy. I'm grabbing a couple threads by hand. So we got one, two. Gotta protect those ears. So we're going. All right, that's seated just so. We got this one. Uh, this is an eight mil Allen. All right. So. We've got those two. This is seated on the bell housing. Uh, these guys and these guys all get, I do I do 25 foot pounds on them. You don't wanna go too much more than that. I think 22, 20 or 22 is Volkswagen spec. And uh, this alloy, this metal, uh, it's, it's fairly soft, um, honestly. So um, compared to other things, right? So we don't wanna go too much more than 25. So I'm gonna grab my torque wrench, um, set it up and get that. All right, so. We are currently at 15, Oop, getting wild, sure, 25 dialed on the nose there. So, grab this guy, get him up here, good, we're pretty much already there from our impact, fine by me, get this guy, all right, there we go. Those two ready to rock. Now we're gonna grab our longer bolt of the two and stab this guy right here. Boom, get him in there. And this socket is a this size of 16. I'm not tightening that, it's still loose because I'm gonna get the other one in first. So I don't have any problems aligning it. So that goes in. I am going to go ahead and tighten that. Boom. All right, gave it a little bit. Now I'm going to torque it down. Same, 25. Boom. All right, Ooh, got a little higher than 25 there. Uh, I'm just going to double check this guy. All right, so dun, da, da, da. that is that. This guy is looking awesome, ready to turn over this Subaru motor for years and years to come. Um, and that really is that for this video. Um, next up, I'm probably also gonna, gonna actually sell this kit with a little, um, I can sell it with the starter. If you guys want just the whole kit all as one, I could also sell it with a um, little clip-on adapter for the wires right here. Um, Cause you've got your Volkswagen wire and your wire coming from the Subaru ECM that both go into this single spade. Um, and so uh, I might, I'll probably just sell that little clip with it. And then next up what I'm doing, so this comes from the alternator. Um, I'm gonna put uh, the correct lug on this guy, go straight from here over to my alternator. Um, and then of course we've got a wire coming from the starter to here as well. But that's for another video, another talk. Uh, for this for this video, 
we're done. Uh, hit me with any questions, comments, suggestions. You guys always have great suggestions uh, for the comments to make things easier, better, you name it. So, um, and let us know if we can help you in any way on your bay window bus conversion to Subaru power. Thanks guys. Bye.